when you're having a, a moment of rainy season that comes in, we will maintain all the sand deliveries for the city. So we have a, uh, a sandbag agreement that we'll have sandbags available at every fire station in the city. Well, only a certain few fire stations have sand. So we maintain those sand piles to give the, the folks of the city the opportunity to come there, fill sandbags. So during the rain, we typically will send out anywhere between 80 to 100,000 sandbags. Now we have a, a rain event that's come through and it's starting to saturate the hills and the hills start to let loose all of the city family becomes overwhelmed with multiple mud flows, rocks uh, covering road systems, uh, mud debris coming through backyards, uh, blowing the house off the foundation. So we go out there with our heavy equipment and we push the roads open just to keep fire truck access to be able to get into these areas to evacuate the people. It's kind of surreal when you're driving up a, a canyon in a well-to-do neighborhood with great wide streets and great landscape and whatnot. And then you get to this area where you're kind of in a war zone and there's stuff from everywhere that you're trying to identify and you're hitting things that have a different sound than rocks. And you're trying to figure out what that is. And it's pouring rain and, and people are standing outside their houses. They're getting soaked They're Everybody's nervous and scared and they're trying to figure out where to go and what to do. And they can't even get out of their house. Now, we could go in there and move rocks uh, one at a time, but obviously we all know what that's going to look like when a heavy equipment piece can go in and, and do miles and miles of road access to get fire trucks, ambulance companies, even chiefs, fire uh, police companies to come in there and start securing that area to keep looters or any of that stuff that may be going into people's houses that are compromised by mud flow. The amount of calls that we're going to, the amount of fires that happen in the Los Angeles area are astronomical. So having more uh, seems like a lot, uh, but ultimately it gives us the flexibility to kind of help our partners and our neighbors that also at some point keeps that same fire from moving into the city area where we all live. We were able to send out two of our HEOs with this heavy equipment, number 42 dozer, to the Glendora area. They were there for 14 days. Graciously, we were able to uh, to acquire a dozer brand new uh, from the Fire Foundation, a D5 Firecat. Um, and having that available to us, the, the D8 gets to leave with two folks and the D5 stays here in the city that protects you know the city of Los Angeles. So we have this for earthquakes. We have it for uh, facility maintenance. We may use it for uh, cutting openings and uh, whatnot into commercial buildings to make access for firefighters to get in, uh, to shorten their distance and their times that they're in the fire. So all these tools have a specific purpose in the fire department. Not all, uh, what, not one piece of equipment will do all the work for the fire department. So we have a lot of different um, add-ons, if you will. Some departments may or may not ever need to use heavy equipment, but consistently we're, we're using this stuff. As we have all this other avail available equipment in the city, we're able to continue our mission here in the city as well.